Nathaniel, a fantastic win today. Talk us through it from your perspective. Well, it was a different game. We lost um, Aaron, unfortunately, to injury, so changed the formation. And it was a big change to the system. Usually we like to be a bit more attacking, but well, for me personally, being on the wing back, but being a full back, it was a different type of game. Like We all had to really battle and defend and be, really be sold as a back four and a good unit. So when like Roshan go for a header after took round, so it's a different responsibility, but I feel like everyone adapted really well. We played some good stuff, especially in the first half. And then, yeah, it was a real good performance man, from the team. A tough challenge for you mentally as well. New to, to men's football in the league, you've had a quick turnaround on Tuesday, as you mentioned, this formation change. Quite hard for you mentally to get yourself in that frame of mind, isn't it? Yeah, it's difficult, but you play football your whole life in it, and these are the moments how you prepare for. Like nothing's ever going to be perfect, and that's what I'm learning. Like coming here, it's take it's like a step out of my comfort zone, but it's, what, it's what's going to make me into a man and help me become the footballer that I want to be in the future. So I love these challenges, and I, I, I try not to let it get the, the best of me. Like. One of the coaches at England told me one time, play the game, not the occasion. So even though three points on the line, like it's just another game. So I'm just focusing and trying to be the best I can be. And yeah, man, that's just my focus, man. Just try and focus and be the best for my teammates, give my all. And it makes everything easy. When you have a group of guys that are so there to speak to you and got a real family around me, so it's making my, my job so much easier, man. And it really was a team performance at the end. Bodies on the line, like you say, really really under the cosh for the last few minutes. Must be really impressed with that team performance. Yeah, honestly, it was crazy. Like many times I've been in teams where we've just folded the last couple of minutes and it always gets hard, but here, like, everyone's switched on, everyone's saying, nah, nah. And I'm just thinking, like, I'm just, like, getting into position, like, nah, running, do you know what I mean? And it's a different, it's a different ball game here, but it's what really allows you to excel and become focused because it's not what you do in the first, I would say, like, 60 minutes, what you do near the end, how you defend the, the result and I'm learning so much from these guys and I'm really, really happy to, to be amongst a team which don't just shout at me for no reason but actually helping me and guiding me through the game and it's really helped me develop as a player. Just what have the lads been with you? Obviously you've just been here a short amount of time, like you said they've been great talking to you on the pitch. Off the pitch is it is it the same, a great bunch of lads that have helped you develop already? Yeah, honestly it's amazing. Like. Just, I, I, I can't say this word enough. I just feel like I'm in a real family. Like settling in, in a new team is usually hard. Like it can take time, but honestly, like the boys are just so encouraging. Nobs, he's always there for me, man. Just talking to me. The centre backs, Ro, Aaron, before Ethan, like everyone's there for me. Vels all speak to me and make me feel comfortable. Especially, um, what's he called? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> forgot his name. Um, Albi, man. He's always there for me, man. Just encouraging me. Him and Dave, man, they're just there for me. And even when the manager comes on the phone at half time, like he's just like he's never letting me rest on my laurels. It's always like, come on, there's always more that I can do, man. So there's no time to like be like not to celebrate, but there's no time to to get complacent. There's always room for improvement, man. And being in this environment, it just keeps me on my toes constantly. Like there's no time for for me to switch off, man. And it's like I feel like I, I can just keep improving with the players around me and this and stuff around me, man. I really feel like I'm gonna grow and develop each and every game by the grace of God. So. And talk to us about Harry Chapman, that goal. Something special, wasn't it? Honestly, Chappie's a serious player, man. I, he just he does it in training, man. It's just a normal thing, man. So when I saw it, it was it's still a shock. Like to do it in game is a different thing to doing it in training. But honestly, Chappie's quality in the final third is is something that this team really, really. Like we just we we appreciate it, man, because it's the difference today, man, and it's been the difference in the last couple of games. So chappie has been a real good addition. He's a real good guy, and, and it's not just what he's doing on the ball. Now, it's what he's doing off the ball that's really helping the team, and that's what makes the top play. It's not just what you do on the ball, but how you help the team all around in general. So Chappie's really doing really well, man. You mentioned it earlier. Quite a surreal experience for you coming in with with no manager. You've just got the assistant managers. You mentioned Albie and Dave Longwell. What's that been like for you personally? Well, <laughs> I've heard the manager's a tough, tough guy, and I'm prepared for that because the guys are really, really preparing me for him. But Abby and um, Dave uh, just introduced me slowly, like keep me calm, but keep me focused. But all they're doing is just pouring belief into me. Like, it's not like pouring worry and doubt, but they're just like, just believing in me, believing in me. And for me, that's all that like, all you want in a manager, a manager to push you, but at the same time, just believe in you and, and, and make you feel comfortable playing the game. like. That's, that's what they really helped me do, the staff, the players, just make me feel comfortable. You play your game, we're going to help you with the bits that you struggle with. And now I can just focus on being me and when they tell me to do this, I can just, I'm just listening. Like, it's just making my job so much easier, man. So I'm so grateful to God to be in and around team and staff that 
are just here for me, man, and we're all here for each other, man. And I really hope that this family feel just keeps going and it turns to just positive, positive results, man, because we're behind each other all the time, man. So it's really good. Even with no fans, it, it seems from what you've said, you, you're loving your time at Shrewsbury here already, aren't you? Yeah, hundred percent. And some of the fans have sent me sort of really nice, encouraging messages, man. And it's so good to to just be a part of a just a family, man. I, I can't stop using that word, man. Just be part of a family from the fans to the players to the staff. Everyone's welcomed me so well, and I just feel that bigger things are going to happen, man. Like, as we get this confidence, I just feel that we're going to climb up the table for sure, man, because we've got a great group of players and a great family feel, and that togetherness is what's going to drive us, man. I really believe that, man. So, again, man, the fans, everyone just make me feel so at home, man, and I'm really grateful for, for everyone, man, for how they've received me. Are you enjoying this Saturday, Tuesday, quick turnaround football, keeping you on your toes? Yeah, honestly, it's good, man. I thought it'd be a lot harder, but the way they manage us in training is really, really good. Like, obviously, I want to do the extra games and everything like that, but like, no, I'm not just relax and I feel it. Like, my legs feel good in the games, you know what I mean? But it's the last, it's the last 20 minutes that I just need to keep working on because obviously playing more and more games, it gets harder. Like, you can feel fresh, but then it's all mental. So now, like, I'm really learning the mental side of the game and being able to push yourself, like, near the end, I was just shouting at me, shouting at me, and I was blowing, I was flagging, but these are the things that I need to learn and improve on, man, because, again, like I said, it's not what you do for the first 45 minutes, it's what you do at the end and how you see out the game, man. So these are the things that I really need to learn and improve on. And as I do that, I really believe that it's going to set me in good stead for the future, man. So it's good, man. I'm really learning a lot. Well done today now. Thank you very much.